again, one of the things is no one knows the answer. You can't, you can't sit there and say that you know that is the answer. But what I can say, Liam, is the most probable and logical answer is creating. And I would ask you, what would you say is a more logical and credible answer than that? I'm, I'm not an academic in any sort of way. Have to be. I, yeah, I know what you're saying, but just like everyone has their own opinion. I yeah. believe that it's just the conditions. The, the conditions are right, and we're just. It's, I don't. I don't question. I just question life too much. I just just try and focus back. Why, why do you think that is? I don't know. I just don't. I, it doesn't it doesn't concern me. I do think about it. I think why why are we here? What's the meaning of life? Things that happen. Then, there's two you, things. You, you, shouldn't, you shouldn't really waste your life thinking about that. That's the only like. Anyone can, you can believe what you want to believe. That's got nothing to do with me. With all these other people with. That's not my concern as such. I believe that it's, it, you can you can believe or say or whatever you can do whatever you want to do. It doesn't have any concern unless it obviously harms or affects other people. Then it obviously is a problem. Yeah. But other than that, it doesn't. I think everyone should be more worried about living their life to the best they can be. Let me give you an example, Liam. If you're living your life here, yeah, and you're just going about your business, being a good citizen, not harming people, someone puts a bag on your head and then uh, takes you away and then sticks you on a train somewhere, yeah, and takes it off and you're, you're given nice food. What's going to be the first question that comes to you? You're not going to say, you know what? Forget why I'm here. The food is nice. I'm going to enjoy it myself. Gonna enjoy <laughs> myself. It's tasty. Forget about that. It's not important. I need to worry about enjoying myself on this train. And somebody goes, do you know where you're going? It's not important. But when are you going to get off? Uh, I just look, everyone just doing their thing. Let everyone do their thing. Like, I'm not here to. That's fine. But you know what? You've been doing this a long time, isn't you? You, you adapt quick. You adapt <laughs> to the situations quick. I know, I know what you're saying. I, it's I, because I'm going to be honest with you, Leo. Like, you, look, look at me. I'm a handsome guy. You know what I'm saying? I'm young. We're both young. Yeah. But think about it. This is a Sunday. I work Monday to Friday. Yeah. I'm here. Look, I'm not... Have I, am I forcing something no, upon you? Am no, I being aggressive? No, no. Yeah. Listen, if you was, I wouldn't be... Here you know what I'm saying? Seconds. So the thing is, Liam... Born in this country, I, I know about this sort of stuff. I love it here. But the thing is, I'm still here, Liam, spending time discussing this with you. If I, if I wasn't sure about it, I wouldn't be here wasting your time. In fact, I, I would consider it a disrespect that if you ask me something and I, and I give you a fl fluffy answer, I'm calling you towards something and I can't answer your question, I, I would actually say it's disrespectful to you. I don't have to apologize to you. I'm going to make a few claims now, Liam. Yeah, that makes and that makes Islam different and unique compared to all other religions yeah and you're welcome to challenge me whenever you want yeah. with whatever you want first thing is this if something comes from God Liam and it's a revelation surely that revelation if there's a book with words of God surely it should be free from human interference you can't just dip in there change stuff move stuff about and then people are saying, you know what, it's been changed, but let's go with the message. No, the book has to be preserved because it's from God. And you tell him... Did, did God write the book? No, God, it's the word of God. And then it was compiled into a book. So that's, that's going to be one of my arguments. By, by, by people. But how do you know that... How do you know for certain there isn't corruption in that? I'm not saying there is. I'm no, of course, there, of course. Well, no, I'm saying, like, valid, how do you know there yeah, isn't? Yeah. <clears throat> the, like you said, it's been comprised on how, how many thousands of people yes. have put their contribution into the book. 100%. Exactly. So it's more... It, You're right, I agree with you. Yeah, it's like that, but it's like... A, but let me answer that, because the Quran's different. I'm going to right. tell you how. The Old Testament, when it was revealed, Liam, it had to be copied down. Now, I, I don't know if you're... How old are you? 25. 25. You're a bit younger than me. Uh, when, when I was at school, yeah. we'd write our essay out and then we'd have to copy out again. Yeah? yeah? Uh, for display purposes. You know, when it goes on display and that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when we do it on display, 
what happens is sometimes, Liam, when I would copy stuff down, if two sentences ended with the same word, my eye would automatically skip a line. Or if there's like two, three words that are similar in like three, four lines, you miss certain chunks out. Now, Bart Ehrman calls this uh, technique periblepsis or homo, homo italiotan, yeah, which just means that you're missing chunks. That applies, Liam, to the Old Testament and the New Testament. Why? Because they were, like you've uh, articulated, it was written down. Now, the Quran was different because the Quran, when it was revealed, it was revealed by speech and it was memorized. So primarily, whilst the other books, they were written and they were paper-based, the Quran, on the other hand, was memorized. And because the Quran was memorized, that's how it was passed on. Now, within the life of the Prophet, it was also written down, but the primary way of preserving it was a memory. Now, if you don't believe me, Liam, you can Google this, YouTube this. There are children as young as three and four that have memorized the entire Quran. In fact, I'll put another challenge out there and I will say there is no other book and I've got like <laughs> four cameras there, yeah? And like you said, I'm well read as well. So they, there's no other religion that can make this claim that their book has been mass memorized. Every other book has been written, has been copied and there's another bold claim I'm going to make. When you go to a Christian, ask them, how many books are there in the Protestant Bible? They're going to tell you 66. You ask them, what about the Roman Catholic? 70, uh, 71, 2 or 3. Yes. Yeah? And then the Ethiopian Orthodox, 80 something. Hang on a minute. This is from God. So it depends what sort of Christian you are. And you've got entire books that are extra in those books. I'm sorry, but this isn't convincing to me as an agnostic that's looking into religion. Now you say, okay, what about you? <coughs> I'll tell you. There's certain sects within Islam. Sunni, Shia, this, that. Liam, all of them. They believe that there'll be dispute about other things. When it comes to the Quran, every single Muslim believes in the same Quran. And there are manuscripts. And here's, I'm moving on to the next claim now. Islam is the only religion that can track the Quran, the manuscripts of the Quran, to the person that claims it was revealed to. There's no manuscript that we have today on this planet that is traced to the time of Jesus, that's traced to the time of Moses, but we do have, in fact, it's not in, in, in some uh, Arab country. It's in this country, Liam. Birmingham University has one of the oldest manuscripts of the Quran. So this is the third claim. We have manuscripts, uh, Liam, that are tracing back to that time. But when it comes to Jesus and Moses, you don't have people. Now listen to me carefully. You don't have people of independent other religions that can verify their existence. Now obviously as a Muslim, we accept Moses existed, Jesus existed because it's in the Quran. However, if you're going for manuscripts that can be dated and carbon dated, you know, for you to tell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah carbon, yeah. exactly. There are three sources. Yeah, if you want, I can tell you exactly the names of those sources as well. But they sound a bit funny, yeah? You want me to tell you the name of the three independent non-Muslim sources that verify that the Prophet existed in the 7th century? All right. <laughs> the first one is uh, the Nestorian Chronicle. The second one is the more famous one. It's called the Doctrina Jacobi Nupa Baptizati. You can see it was a mission to memorize. And... <laughs> And um, the, the third one, uh, the third one's the tricky one. Ah, Bishop Sabius of the House of Bagratunis. So these are three independent sources that are dated to the seventh century that talk of a Saracen leader. Saracens is what they call the Muslims at that time, who claims to have the keys of paradise. Yeah, and we have archaeological evidence, manuscripts that trace back to the people who succeeded the Prophet in terms of Khilafat, like uh, you've got Abu Bakr, Umar, Uthman, Ali, yeah? You have evidences, you have coins that can be, excuse me, traced back to the time. In fact, today I've ordered a book. It's by uh, Arthur, uh, Anthony Sean, 
He's written a book in which the first chapter is just about uh, evidence proving that the Prophet existed from non-Muslim sources, be it coins, be it uh, epigraphies. I think I'm pronouncing it properly. Epigraphy is like, you know when there's marking on stones, like writings and stuff like that. So you've got, but Liam, when you speak to these other people, and you're more than welcome to do so, in fact, I encourage it, they will not be able to give you this stuff. In fact, they will pick up any Bible. The most popular Bible you're going to pick up is called the King James Version. And read the preface. In the preface, it says, this book has major and minor errors in it. Then pick up the Quran. And then you're going to see there's no such word like that. In fact, bun the pre there is no preface. It just starts off. You know what I'm saying? Go straight into it. It's been preserved. There's evidence. Then you're like, okay, Quran is preserved. The other books aren't. They got pr proof archaeologically that can be carbon dated. You got manuscripts that are present. You got the Quran that accepts the previous prophets as well. It's not saying, oh, you're wrong, you're this. You're just saying that at that time, we accept Jesus was alive at that time and he was a prophet. Thereafter, we say that the books were changed. Yeah, and now the prophet came with the final revelation and we, we're making the claim that the Quran has not been changed. Jesus spoke Aramaic. The New Testament's written in Greek. We're reading in English. Aramaic, Greek, English. Okay, what about you, Muslim? What are you saying, Mike? All right, I'm saying the prophet spoke Arabic. The Quran's in Arabic. We read it in Arabic. Yeah, we read the translation, but we read it in Arabic yeah. primarily. All right, cool. Translation. What about translate? Yeah, just Arabic to English, but Aramaic is not. Have you heard anybody saying, yeah, yeah, man's learning French, Spanish, man's doing a bit of Aramaic on the side? Yeah. You heard anyone say that? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But Jesus spoke Aramaic. So the thing is, Arabic is one of the top five languages. It's a live language. Yeah, yeah. So surely if a language is being claimed that the final testament is written then show me the language okay you've got the middle east that's speaking that language it's a live language you can do it study in soas uh, universities here birmingham university you can study even in uh, a levels if you want to study it, no problem who's studying aramaic who's studying hebrew it's not even hebrew the old testament is written in hebrew here's what i want you to do today when you go home Liam. today when you go home you live by yourself when you go home before you shut the light, or when you're about to go to bed, shut the lights. Raise your hand in a way that you know is fitting. You raise your hand, or you pray however. And you don't use any name, any title. Say, God, if you're there, whoever you are, wherever you are, guide me. You're not calling towards a religion. You're not calling towards a person or a being. I'm not saying you have to go through me, I'm not saying you have to go through Muhammad, I'm not Sallallahu Alaihi peace be upon him, or anybody else. I'm saying you alone, with no feeding from me, you converse with your Lord. Because if he's there, Leah, if he's there, and you're genuine and you're saying, you know what, God, I want to prove to you that I was sincere today because I went there for the first time and I stood with my man for over an hour. If that doesn't show my sincerity, I don't know what does. I was respectful. Yes, I pushed back because he's making claims, but you know what? It didn't make sense. So God, if you're there, like allow it in it, like guide me. Like don't 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 let me go astray. If you're there, if not, then I'll live my life. That's all I'm saying, Leah. I'm not saying for you to watch anything, speak to anybody, do 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 do. And then I'm just saying pray to the one God. Everybody here, Liam, believes in some sort of God. So what you're doing is that's what you're doing. You're praying to that God and you're saying, if you're genuine, if you're genuine, then I want you to guide me to the right method to seek the answer. That's all I'm saying, Liam. We believe as Muslims that even if a non-Muslim, if let's just say I oppress you, I oppress you, but you don't believe in God and you you make a prayer against me that prayer will still be heard by God and I'll still be punished for it sorry yeah, you're right, you're right. so uh, what I'm trying to say is prayer is something that we believe that even non-muslims can do yeah just speak say God 
you know what it does make sense like when I, when you look whoa just look at the way the sun is hitting us the way the light is hitting the grass the way that tree is able to kind of you know spread out and the way human beings are able to communicate language what's the difference between us <coughs> and, and animals we have language we question purpose we we cook food we think deep issues we question purpose yeah there's just so many things that make us unique and it's these sorts of things Liam that I want you to ponder upon and you use that when you're communicating with God and then let me know you know what you, just sitting there now Joe you are a good speaker you are a good speaker <laughs> But yeah, no, I'll definitely be back up. I'll definitely probably end up seeing me again up here. Trust me. Brilliant. It's like food for thought as such. You know what I mean? I mean, listen, I'm gonna, yeah, of course. What do you think I'm going to be thinking about? I've got to ride back to East London a little while. Yeah. Right, East Ham. So, you see, it's going to be... If you don't... Once you see something, you're always yes. going to think about it as such. You know what I exactly. mean? So, yes. yes. I mean, listen, it's, it's good to hear your side of things and speak to someone who's educated like yourself. I'm glad yeah, to hear it. Like, it just gives you, gives you more sort of stuff to think about. So, you know what I mean? It's like the sort of points you made about the Quran and things like that. I'm not saying I'll change, I, I wouldn't be religious in, in any way, but okay, it's a good, it's a good uh, side to, to view something, or something you know? Like to, to, hear your, to hear your beliefs, facts, and things like that, and then not just sort of apply it to a different way of thinking and such, you know what I mean? Not just think as the way I think, just sort of see it as you see it. Such, you know? ah, thank you for your time and right, patience you. as well, and, and no, your no questions. Problem, no uh, problem. But, uh, uh, they, they yeah, no, it's mad. I'll definitely, definitely be up there again. Excellent. But, uh, hopefully, I don't get collared for another hour. So, <laughs> <laughs> I've got to ride back, yeah. Well, yeah, no, it's good talking to you anyway. Likewise, yeah. have a safe journey. My name is Zishan. Zishan, yeah. Zishan and the, ch uh, the channel is... Smile to Jen, yeah. <laughs>